in my time with uh, Nami Mercer, one of the things that I've really come to appreciate is uh, the profound impact that mental illness has on families, um, not only throughout our county, but throughout our country. And there's such a pervasive stigma sometimes that exists with mental illness that uh, family members and individuals are often uh, very reluctant to come forward and, uh, and share that they have an illness. And, and people are very hesitant to ask questions and seek out community supports uh, just because of the stigma attached with these diseases. The reality is virtually everybody uh, is touched by mental illness or knows somebody um, closely that's been touched by mental illness in one way or another. And uh, if there's anything that NAMI can do to help families understand that um, that mental illness is just that, it's an illness, and that the people that are suffering from it need the support of their communities, then I think we've gone a long way to raise awareness for, um, for mental illness and uh, ultimately to be able to provide programming to help families deal with, uh, with some of the devastation that severe and persistent mental illness can cause. We seek to really uh, to be a resource to families that need it and uh, to be able to provide uh, programming to enhance the lives and um, the experiences and recovery uh, that, that often comes with mental illness. To me, NAMI means a place where people um, who aren't sure where to turn can truly turn uh, to get the support that they need. And, and the people that I'm talking to, of course, are families that have been affected by mental illness. NAMI is simply a place that uh, people can get the community support and the love and, and the resources that they need uh, to deal with the devastating consequences of mental illness. But like most nonprofit organizations, the reality is um, uh, fundraising is the lifeblood of our organization. And uh, we truly need uh, our community to step up and say that we support families that are affected by mental illness. And, and they can do that um, both by attending our events and, and becoming aware, but also, quite frankly, uh, financially, because it does take um, funds to, to run an organization that's a nonprofit, uh, charitable organization that provides free programming to, uh, to families in need. And uh, what I'd ask members of our community to think about is if um, you had a loved one um, and you very well might you might not even know it that uh, is struggling from from mental illness um, to a degree that uh, the people around them and the people that care about them um, aren't able to um, aren't, aren't able to live their lives without constantly um, struggling with this disease wouldn't you want a place for them to turn wouldn't you want an organization that would be able to provide resources for families uh, and education for families that are severely impacted um, by, by the devastating consequences of mental illness and that's exactly what we do. I think that there is um, probably more awareness for other uh, diseases, uh, cancer, HIV, heart disease, uh, but there's something that, that oftentimes is viewed as dark about mental illness and people don't like to talk about it. NAMI is here to make sure that people feel comfortable coming forward with their stories and your funding is uh, essentially what can allow us to give the community the support that it needs.